I'm starting to feel like I'm training again. I'm, just, I'm trying to lift weights. I'm eating right. I'm getting to bed early. I'm trying to get up in the morning and drill. I'm working out. So it's been a fun journey, and it seems like I'm turning back that clock a little bit. Uh, I feel like I'm getting younger. Hello, welcome to the future of pickleball. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. We are at the Super Bowl uh, festivities going on in Phoenix, Arizona in 2023. Our guest today is not an NFL guy. It's Ronnie Grandison. <laughs> Ronnie Grandison played in the NBA. We're gonna get into how he got us here, what his involvement in pickleball is, but Randy, Ronnie, welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. I'm excited to play some pickleball. You know, the first thing that we've got to kind of get identified is I heard how you got connected in this, but how are you running this event at the Super Bowl? Well, uh, Bradley Cousineau, who we, uh, you talked to earlier today, he's a former NFL football player, and uh, he actually is a member of my pickleball club in Cincinnati. So Bradley and I, we play in a group together, and uh, we have lots of fun and, and exercise, all that good stuff. And what Bradley did is he had a chance to meet Russ that was over the wellness, uh, NFL wellness uh, group, and they asked to showcase pickleball as a lifetime sport here at the Super Bowl. So what happened is Bradley said, hey, Ronnie, why don't you bring Velocity Pickleball over, show them what you do, and we'll come out here and do some festivities and have some Super Bowl uh, pickleball stuff going on. Very cool. I want to come back to the Velocity Pickleball, but before we do that, I'd like to talk a little bit about what your NBA career was like. Okay. Well, I had a chance to play five years in the NBA. Uh, I played 13 years professionally altogether. I was what they call a journeyman. So I was one of those guys that played from team to team to team to team, never had a guaranteed contract, but just fought my way and battled to get on team. So basically what happened is um, as far as uh, – Pickleball's concerned, I kind of picked that up and I was looking for something to be competitive with and pickleball seemed to fit that bill for me. So I've been excited to play it and I'm you know, looking forward to getting better and better. So, so it was now, as I've been talking with, with Brad here from the NFL perspective, I know you've been telling me that you've got other NBA guys that are starting to get into this, that are starting to pay attention. Tell me about it. Yeah, it, it looks like uh, the NBA guys are really uh, you know, getting, how would I say, the, the fire underneath them about the sport of pickleball. So um, uh, I just spoke with Rick Barry. Rick's a, an avid pickleball fan. He gave me a list of NBA guys that play. So what we're going to try, try to do is get them together and see if we can figure out who's the best pickleball basketball player. Maybe a little there. trash talk in that oh, field, huh? I'm sure it'll be a lot of that. <laughs> Trust me, that's going to happen. So, but it's, uh, it's uh, a, a great thing to see the guys playing a sport in their retirement, and I'm excited to try to get them all together and see if we can do something. Very cool. Now, in the conversations that there have been many of them here around this Super Bowl event, I've been hearing some, some potential competitions maybe between some NBA guys and some <laughs> NFL guys. Is that really something happening? Yeah, we're trying to get them to come out. Um, you know, we'll see what happens, but there are some guys that are going to meet up at the, the Marriott where they just played the, the last tournament. Uh, we're going to do something here on Friday night, and we're just trying to get as many people out. But it, I think it'll be more fun before competition. I think the competition is coming up. Very cool. Well, I love getting the opportunity to talk to Pro athletes that obviously had to be serious athletes your entire life, um, you're coming to this game as a little more mature guy, yeah. not quite as mature as some <laughs> of us, but it is, uh, it is uh, you're finding, you're really getting an outlet in competition in this, aren't you? Yes. I mean, that's something I really enjoy with pickleball is I'm starting to feel like I'm training again. I'm, just, I'm trying to lift weights. I'm eating right. I'm getting to bed early. I'm trying to get up in the morning and drill. I'm working out. So it's been a fun journey, and it seems like I'm turning back that clock a little bit. Uh, I feel like I'm getting younger, cool. but, but that's not happening. Yeah. But uh, pickleball is really something that's been something to push me to be a, a better athlete and compete more. So you got, have gotten so involved with this that you're running a sports academy in Cincinnati, Ohio, yeah. Velo and Velocity Pickleball is part of that. Tell me about it. Well, I've been doing the sports academy for about 20 years now and uh, working with kids. And it's been fun. That's been a, the, one of the greatest jobs I've had in my life. But 
uh, the gentleman that owns the whole complex, his name is Jeff Metzger, had came over and he said he wanted to get a pickleball group together to play in our gym. And I'm like, pickleball, what is that? I had no <laughs> idea what that was. But then, you know, I heard the noise of the ball going back and forth. They were on a far court from my office. And I said, let me go out here and take a look at this. So I looked at the pickleball game. I said, that looks pretty fun. And uh, they said, hey, why don't you come out and play? Well, they asked me to come out and play, and they were, you know, destroying me. I mean, it was like I was fresh meat. They came out, and they are like, hey, we're going to lob this 6'8 guy. We're going to do everything. He's going to be running all over the court. So what happened was um, they didn't realize that I'm a professional athlete, and I started to get better. I started training. Now I'm destroying them. So Very nice. It is Very fun, nice. but that's how it all kind of started. Uh, uh, Frederick and I, he's here today, uh, we decided to do something called Velocity Pickleball. And the cool part about Velocity is exactly what it says, Velocity. We're trying to speed the game up. Uh, and not necessarily that you got to hit the ball harder, but more so where you're changing angles, you're hitting different shots that are faster. Instead of just a nice little easy dink over the net, you know, maybe a little quick rip that just yeah. You know, top spin turns over and goes right at your feet and out. So that's what Velocity is all about. We're an all-encompassing group. We're going to work with um, young kids. We're going to work with older folks. I have a, a membership of about 350 people at our facility now. Uh, we're doing clinics. We're doing training. We actually have a tournament coming up in February. We have over 300 teams, or 300 teams, 300 players. And uh, basically, it's, it's our first tournament. So a lot of people are looking at this and getting involved, and we're just excited to be here today at the Super Bowl, uh, you know, and promoting what we're trying to do. Very cool. Well, I, I'm, I'm really personally inspired with all of the pickleball I've been around with in the period of time that I've been involved, seeing the number of, of retired athletes that are really coming in. I think it gives us a val validity and credibility that's yeah. just insane. We are so glad that you're here. Thank you so much. I had a pleasure meeting you guys. Let's keep the Super Bowl pickleball going on. I appreciate being here and thank you very much.